you're not that small of a man. No, I'm not a small man. I'm a big man. I'm 6'5", 260. You are a large man. Yeah. What are you, like 6'3"? Six, 6'3". Three? Six, three. Yeah. <laughs> so, so let's keep that in mind as we go further. I mean, we can step in the room. I don't understand... I don't understand your 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 sweater. It it has a V neck, but then it comes all the way up to like here. It's like it's I don't know. It's weird. Well, it's because my traps. Your traps make the sweater built be built different. How do you how do you build big traps? Shrugs. Heavy shrugs. 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 Like that shit. Oh, that's just shoulder rolls. I don't rolls. understand the r rolling. It's I don't just, understand either. What do you do? Oh, oh, just you, a pull you're lifting off. something like that. Yes. Okay. All right. I have a gym in my house. I have a. I have. A, that wasn't funny. Like a, a jungle gym. I wasn't even. Uh, I have a gym. I have. Okay. So what I have is I have a heavy bag that I hit because of stress, and then I have another boxing machine that lights up, and you have to punch it. Boop, boop. Okay, it's like a bop it for yes. adults. Um, I have a treadmill, and then I have a, a curling bar that I've never used, and a bench that I've also never used. I'm not in good shape. <laughs> My life's not going that great. I don't really. I'm probably not going to make it to the age of 45. Sorry to hear that. No, oh, well, let's just do a fucking interview. There we go. How old are you? Huh? 44 and a half. So, time for <laughs> <laughs> we better we, we better make this quick. We're getting close. <laughs> We're getting close. All right. Wrestling. Welcome into wrestling. Barstool's wrestling podcast. It only happens every now and then because they're fucking stupid and they won't give me resources. Anyway, it's not a big deal. Today, we're getting ready for AEW Full Gear. All Elite Wrestling Full Gear. One of their four pay-per-view. What are you looking around at? I'm just looking. I like the sign. Do you not... It, do you like the colors? I do. What does it remind you of? It's like retro, yeah. late 80s, right. early yeah. 90s wrestling. I know, right? That's Because that's when I grew up. Warrior Macho Man. Well, that's two different guys. Are you chewing gum? I am. Do you feel like that's disrespectful at all? No. Agreed. If I spit it at your face, that might be. <laughs> I didn't flinch. I was fine. Yeah, I, I was ready. He blinked. I've listen. Tr I've been spit on plenty of times, buddy, both for free and paid for. So <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't, I don't think uh, you're mad about it. Uh, so I'm talking to Wardlow, yes, sir. the current TNT champion, Wardlow. Uh, you are going to be fighting at full gear, as as you do most of these pay per views. You'll be in a three way match with Powerhouse Hobbs, big guy, and Samoa Joe. Big guy. <laughs> no, that's not funny. We don't make fun uh, here. Um, here's my question to you. You wrestle uh, in – you have straps. Yes. And sometimes to indicate your anger, you will take the straps off. And sometimes to indicate that everything's okay, you put the straps back on. Why not just wrestle with no straps? You know, that's a good question. And I feel like a lot of people would like me – thank you – to wrestle in traditional trunks. Right. Which maybe one day I will. Okay. Um, so I grew up a big Bret Hart fan. Really? And Mr. Perfect. I'm a big Mr. Perfect guy too. Dude. I love awesome, Mr. Perfect. Right? Yeah, yeah. So then they always had the singlets. Right. I was also a big Kevin Nash fan. So You just like, you just like straps. Uh, so, yeah, I just have a thing for straps. And so when Nash would pull the straps down to indicate the power bomb was coming. I just thought that was the coolest thing. And so you do the straps down to indicate the power but bomb. But sometimes is sometimes you you don't get that angry and you just do it anyway. You just win with a strap on. Sometimes I get excited and the rage I'm in a blacked out rage and I forget the straps and just go straight for the power bomb. It happens. I understand. Yeah. My wife does it sometimes too. So uh you killed MJF about six months ago. Did. There was a wrestling match on a pay-per-view, and you powerbombed him about 94 times, and you destroyed him. And this Saturday, at full gear, he's wrestling for the world title. Does that make you mad? Weird how that happened. Isn't that weird? I murdered him. Murdered him. Legal murder. It mm. might not have been legal. I don't know. Murdered him to the point where he disappeared for like four months. Yes. And then he comes back 
and is already getting a heavyweight title shot. Is that fair? No, but I guess life isn't fair. No, I don't guess it is. I kind of am hoping he wins that title, though. Really? Because? Because I would love to take it away from him. Now, he's gotten bigger since then. I don't know. I'm just saying, I, I don't, I, I, I'm not a wrestler. I don't wrestle. All right. Um, it seems like maybe he'd be better equipped to wrestle you now than he was then. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just. So maybe I only get nine power bombs instead of 10. Is that what you're saying? Or you get winded at this point? Maybe, maybe he's heavier, so I only get nine. Mm. I think that's the only advantage he has at this point. All Elite Wrestling. You've been there since. Almost the beginning, not not the very very beginning, but almost the beginning, right? How's uh, how's life in AEW these days for you guys? Uh, I can't speak for anybody else, but for me personally, I'm loving it. Okay, why are you loving it? Because I get to live my dreams. This is all I've ever wanted to do my whole life, and AEW gave me the opportunity to do it. You mentioned uh, you loved uh, Mr. Perfect. You love Bret Hart. Obviously, Kevin Nash, big guy. You're built different than Bret Hart or Mr. Perfect. It's interesting that you have those guys as wrestling heroes when you're so much different. How do you how do you balance that? So I was also a big Jeff Hardy fan as well. Okay, I, well I don't think you understood how big you were going to be. Did you never? I under, didn't. Did you never look at a scale? I was always the run. Till when? Like my senior year, I finally started to grow a little bit. Yeah. But it wasn't until after high school. Really? I finally started to blow up. Huh. So I was planning on being the next like Rey Mysterio or Jeff Hardy for my majority of well, my life. Thank God that didn't happen because you would kill somebody. <laughs> that would myself. But yeah, so I uh, started growing and. So it's it's like in basketball when like you you teach a guy how to be a point guard and he's like five eleven, then he just grows up to be six eight, and he has these basketball skills. Yes. He has these uh, point guard skills. It's similar to you. Although, were you wrestling before you blew up, or or, or what? Oh yeah. Did, so you not professionally, right? But I was. You doing knew that's what, what, I what you could. wanted to yeah. do. Um. You recently did an interview. Hi, I'm Brandon Walker. Have we met? Briefly, just a minute ago. Yeah. Okay. You uh, did an interview with somebody. I don't know. I don't really give a shit about wrestling interviews. Where you said, "I am a sexual being. <laughs> Call me War Daddy." What do you mean by that? So, I am called War Daddy. So, they asked my opinion on the nickname. Okay. And I said, feel free to call me War Daddy all you want. Mm -hmm. um, because I am very open to the idea of being a sex symbol. And... Do you think you've earned that? Yes. Do you see me? Yeah. <laughs> I've worked for it. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. But yeah, I'm a very sexual being, and uh, so yeah, I embrace it. Sex. It sounds awesome. It is awesome. Is it? Fuck yeah, brother. You don't know yet, huh? No, no. Married, still not? Well, no, married. Because I'm married, I don't know what it feels like. <laughs> you see. That's how that works. I heard, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hate my life. Yeah, that's why you'll never see one of those on here. I, I bet you will. You never know. 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 Um, so you are a sexual being. I'm not going to call you War Daddy. Um, and I'm not going to call your penis the War Hammer. That's what you call it? T-shirt. T-shirt. What, what T-shirt? You wear a T-shirt on your penis? <laughs> he does sometimes wear a shirt. Um, no, I'm saying I need the Warhammer shirt. Oh, okay. On right. Shop AEW, like now. That shirt's about that shirt's about your penis. Okay, all right. They have Scissor Me shirts, right? Uh, yeah, they do. All right, just real quick, we need to get in the barstool store a shirt for my penis. <laughs> <laughs> Mister Never Fucks. <laughs> It's really not funny. A uh, small shirt for that, right? You are... Um, hmm? What? You are wrestling this uh, this Saturday. Full yes. gear. You're not wrestling one guy. You're wrestling two guys. So Warhammer is going to have to be 
be on full alert here. Um, Powerhouse Hobbs. Let's go one by one. Powerhouse Hobbs. Big guy. Intimidating guy. You talk about, I mean, I know you're a big, swole guy. This guy's big and jacked and is hungry. Are you concerned about him? Um, No, but I will say this is the most threatened I've felt yet in this company. You understand that what you just said makes no sense. Okay. You said, no, I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned, but he's the most uh, impressive athlete I've been in the ring with. So you are concerned. I'm excited for the challenge. I still think I'm going to be fine at the end of it. Samoa Joe's also in the match. Now, Powerhouse Hobbs and yourself are still young in the business. You're still building your resume. Not Samoa Joe. This guy's been around. He's won championships all over the world. He's been in wars like this. This isn't going to scare him. Uh, What do you make of Samoa Joe? Well, I have war in my name. That doesn't mean anything. I have Walker in my name. I don't walk anywhere. I got man tits. Names don't mean anything. Though that's the problem is you walk, you need to run. So, I have war in my name, so this war that Joe has Mm -hmm. been a part of uh, will be very different than his previous ones. Um, Samoa Joe, yes, a legend, Mm -hmm. for sure. Dangerous man. But again, uh, if you can't tell, I'm very confident in my abilities. And Powerhouse, Hobbs, Samoa Joe, I'm not worried about it. He has power in his name. I have war in mine. War is what you send people to do in case you want power. So it's sort of like an existential. Yeah, I, I, I think the whole ring's just going to blow up. No, I've seen AEW try to blow up a ring; it didn't work. <laughs> no, no. As soon not as funny. I said it, I knew you were going <laughs> to reference that. That's not funny. That's not funny. I was there, and and it was okay. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I enjoyed that. AEW is a good – what do you think about the main event? I'm not trying to – I mean, you've obviously wrestled MJF before. You have a history with MJF. It's MJF against John Moxley for the AEW World Championship. And I'm not – there are no secrets here. I'm sure one day soon we will be seeing you wrestle somebody for that big belt. What do you think about the main event? The way Max has been recently, a mm-hmm. little different side of Max we've been seeing. So this is a different Max. I think – He's going to show his true colors. I, for three years, was hoping Max Mm -hmm. would kind of not be such a piece of shit. Yeah. And it seems like he's starting to mature and come around, uh, but I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I don't think there's any way humanly possible he can beat John Moxley clean without cheating, and I think it's all BS. So what you're saying is, even though MJF is showing us some new shades to his character, once a piece of shit, maybe always a piece of shit, and the piece of shit will show itself this Saturday, potentially. Yeah, the piece of shit wears a Burberry scarf. And, uh, yeah, it's, I don't think he's ever going to change, for real. I think his true colors will come out eventually through all this. I'm not buying it. And one day down the road, whether it's Mox or Maxwell Jacob Friedman, You'll be staring across the ring at the AEW World Champion. I had better be. Well, don't threaten I, I don't me. Think... I, I, didn't do anything to <laughs> I don't think there's anybody else in the company uh, more deserving and formidable to be standing across the ring from the champion. Chris Jericho. No. Been there, done that. Brian Danielson. He deserves it for sure. But he's not as formidable as you. I like the word formidable. It's better than, like, tough. Yeah. And like, if I said, oh, this guy's a formidable opponent, it just sounds better. Agree. I don't know if, I don't know if we're getting along very well. Why is that? You, the way you're looking at me, I, I think you, you, you're, you're, you're preparing to test me at some point, and I can tell. You don't – now, I'll tell you what it is. You don't find me very formidable, do you? <laughs> For this occasion, I do. Anybody know what that means? He's he's trying. The thing is, he's trying to wrap my my head in a pretzel, and he's trying to beat me mentally, and it's working, <laughs> and it's working a lot. And I'm not looking at him right now because I don't want him to think that he's beating me, but he kind of is. Back to wrestling. If somebody were a wrestling fan who was not familiar with AEW, and they were watching this interview right now, 
And they said, why should I watch Saturday night? What? And they, I've never seen Wardlow wrestle. What would you say to get them to watch you wrestle? What do they see when they watch Wardlow wrestle? When you watch Wardlow wrestle, you're watching history in the making. Because in the history of professional wrestling, there has never been somebody that looks like me that is ath- as athletic as me mm-hmm. and is capable of not only power bombing giants, but also doing perfectly clean swanton bombs. So you'll see me pick somebody up over my head and slam them. Then you'll see me fly through the air and do flips. And I think that's quite a spectacle. Are well, you 6'3", 250? 6'3", 265. I'm 265. It's weird how very different. It's yeah. weird. It's weird how they can come in such different shapes and sizes, huh? Yeah. What's your diet? Oh my god, we were just talking about that. I don't care what you were just talking about. I don't <sighs> care what that dude has to say. Did I give a shit about him? Hey, he's my friend, so is he nice. really? Yeah. Well, we mean you can be I friends. I will defend him. Man, you can be friends. We can be. Tread lightly. Your diet, please. It's brutal, man. It sucks. Do you honestly. enjoy your life? Most of it. Good. The eating part. Yeah. By the end of the meal, I usually have to force feed. Really? Because I'm intaking so many calories. What? No, you eat too much. You're not saying I I, I starve myself. You're saying I I eat so much that I'm not happy. I have to f- eating that much food. Yeah. Is not enjoyable. I'm not eating for pleasure like you do. I eat to fuel me. I only eat. I only eat it to keep my wife happy every now and then. Anyway, um, <laughs> is that back to the sex? And she still doesn't give you, huh? And you still don't get to get laid. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen her in three weeks. So you're dying. Are you okay? Not really. <laughs> no, not really. I'm doing the best I is can, he, man. Is he having a bad day, or is this how he always is? And this is how I always am, really. Or, this is pretty much. It's pretty much standard. This is a good day. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Vacation. <laughs> and I got I got Jane Cargo coming up. She might beat the shit out of me for real. Oh, uh, yeah. It, I should I tread lightly on that I one? I don't too? envy you. Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, um, you and Sean Spears okay? Because here's what happened. Sean Spears was a dick to you a lot. He was with MJF. He was a dick to you. And then one day on Dynamite a couple of weeks ago, he just walked in the ring. He was like, "What's up?" And you're like, "Okay, cool." How'd that work out? So the part people didn't see. Yeah. Um, Sean Spears and I actually ran into each other at an event and he apologized. Really? And, uh, he informed me, uh, some personal information, which he expressed that evening that his mother had passed away, that he's soon to be a father. Sure. And that very much changed him. And, uh, I recognized that. And so we shook hands and put the past in the past. All, all's forgiven. Yeah. So what if MJF came up to you and said, Hey, Sorry, my bad. I wouldn't be as easy to believe it. Like I said, I, I don't have much hope for Max. I pray one day, but not much hope for for Max. Have you uh, have you wrestled in a lot of uh, three way matches with with guys as muscular and as as sound as Samoa Joe and Powerhouse Hobbs? I don't think I've ever been in a triple threat match before. Really? Never? So this is my first triple threat and my first time being in with this level of... You might might lose the TNT Championship this Saturday. You might not. Probably not. But this is, uh, you know, if anybody was going to do it, it's probably one of those two. I've had Powerhouse Hobbs on the show before. Oh, for real? Yeah. How was that? Less awkward than this one. Yeah? Yeah. You guys got along better. We got along. We got along really well. Yeah. He is a cool dude. Yeah, he's, he's okay. I don't know. But again, guys like me, you, and him, we all we see each other and we're like, okay, well, that's my that's my brother, right? Yeah, there. we're cut from the same cloth. Cut from the same cloth. Yep. Some are a little bit more lumpy than others. Um, I would like to get to know you right now for my audience, okay? Because okay. I see, I think people see the Power Bomb Symphony, which is awesome. I think people see um, your presentation, This Is War, ah, all that shit. Uh, I want them to get to know the human being. Are you ready? Ready. What's Wardlow's favorite movie? Uh, John Wick. No, for, for real. What's, what's your favorite movie? If you had to answer what your favorite movie is, what's your favorite movie? I really love John Wick. 
there's a lot there's a lot of movies out there man you, you're going with john wick um i love nothing more in this world than my dog really what's his name her Cri- name his name is crypto crypto and yes he that looks, ain't a great name right now he looks just like superman's dog really superman's dog is crypto a white oh that's right lab looking dog i have a yeah. white lab a white lab how old is he uh, he actually turns seven oh, tomorrow, I think. He sounds like a good boy. He's the best. That's awesome. So that whole opening scene with the puppy really hit home. Because I feel like I would have the same reaction. Yeah, you just kill a bunch of people because oh, they he, touch your dog. Yeah, yeah, you can't mess with a man's dog. What's, your, uh, what's Wardlow's favorite cartoon in his life? His entire life. Maybe when he was a kid. Maybe he was a tiny kid. Maybe now. Maybe he likes cartoons. I don't know. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles growing up was my favorite. Okay, well, I have to ask. In the Batman cartoon. That's fine. I have to ask, who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? We want to say it on three. One, two, three. Leonardo. Donatello. Well, that makes sense. Hold on. Donatello. I always get those mixed up. Blue. Leonardo's blue, and he's the leader. Raph, That's what I said, right? Yeah, Raph is yeah. the funny one with the orange. No, Raph is the moody one, right? Michelangelo is the funny one Raph, with the orange. Raph is the moody Raph, one with the red. red. Moody with the yeah, yeah. things. Yeah, and then Michelangelo, Nunchuck's funny. Donatello, smart. Purple, smart. Bo, Bo Staff, yeah. yes. I like Donatello because I'm the smart one of this group. I'm like Leonardo because I'm the leader. Of the I don't think you would be. If me and you like went into went decided to go out on the town or something, I don't know that you'd be the leader. You think people would look at you first? They would look at me, but talk to you. You're probably right. <laughs> probably right. When you're on the road, what's your favorite road trip food? Road trip. Yeah, that's when you're on the road. You're driving. You're driving 200 miles. You're yeah, going to the next town. It's usually just a protein shake. Jesus Christ. I know. I'm, You'd be a real dude for a second. I, I Yeah, I really do. <laughs> I don't. Uh, you pick up some combos or some bugles? How about some bugles? A little beef jerky on the road? Some sunflower seeds? Nothing? Just just a protein shake. Some almonds. Where do you even stop and get a... Yeah, for all the truck stops and gas stations across the United States, I would appreciate a larger protein shake selection. Thank you. I'm sure the truck stops around this country will get right (laughs) on that. (laughs) And some fresh juice, please. What's uh, Wardlow's favorite TV show of all time? Sons of Anarchy. Are you just hating me more and more as this interview goes on? Not hating you. I'm, I'm it's just. Uh, Is it because I'm giving you the typical like? No, you're kind of man an interesting answer? guy. You're kind of an interesting guy. But, but Sons of Anarchy of all time. That's okay. It could be Sons of Anarchy. I never, per- I've never personally saw it. Never watched it. It's good. I've watched it through twice. Really? Um, Ozark was really good. I really liked Ozark. Okay. I just realized that maybe I'm the problem on this TV question because I don't think I've watched a TV show since like 2008. I was going to say AEW Dynamite, but whatever. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> maybe, that's a good answer. Maybe, maybe that's just me. Uh, maybe Rampage, a close second. Who knows? Rampage is live tomorrow in uh, Newark, right? It is live tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Saturday, full gear on pay per view. Uh, you can also get it on uh, Fight TV, right? You can get it on all, uh, all uh, everything like that. Full gear, AEW. I, I'll say this about your company: um, you guys do pay per view incredibly, and you always deliver on pay per view. And I'm sure up and down the card, this is no different from what you guys are planning to do this Saturday night. And I know uh, you, so you got the TNT title match, you against Wardlow, your Wardlow, I you am. against Powerhouse Hobbs. And against Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe turned on you last week. He did. You you mad about that? I was. Well, you're not now. Yeah, I get over things quickly. So I get really, really pissed off and heated for like 24 hours. Oh, no. Pause, 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 pause. Six months ago, you powerbombed MJF out of the company. And now MJF. you still call him a piece of shit. And you just said you get over things quickly. So it's just... MJF will always be the exception. Okay. I can right. forgive Sean Spears. I can get over the fact that Joe, I will never get over Ever. the fact that MJF okay. sucks and deserves more power bombs. 
and does not deserve to be AEW Heavyweight Champion. A couple more getting to know you questions. Well, if he wins the match, he deserves to be the AEW Champion. If he beats Moxley, fair no, and square in the middle. Who knows? It won't be fair and square. If Max beats Mox... Please don't break my table. I'll try not. If Max beats Mox fair and square, I will fully admit I was wrong. I'm man enough to do so, but I guarantee that won't happen. Max versus Mox is very simple, simple lettering. That is, yeah. Good yeah. on a poster. Yeah. You could add, like, Ray Phoenix would be Max versus Mox versus Mix. I don't think that works. Doesn't? No. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, do you have uh, your favorite music? If you're alone in the car and you're driving down the road, what are you listening to? God, you're going to hate me. I already do. <laughs> Um, so I usually mostly listen to stand up comedy. I'm with that. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay. Old or new? You, what were you like? A um, a lot of new stuff. Nate, uh, been listening to a lot of Nate Burgett. Nate Burgett, yeah. Uh, true. Chad Daniels. Chad Daniels, yeah. Um, Dan Cummins is also like my favorite. Okay, you made that last guy up. Dan Cummins? Yeah. I didn't. You made that, you made that guy up. We He's Googling him right now. Why, huh? He's an amazing comedian. He's go- I thought he was Googling he's him. Porn, he's don't like, worry about him. Real. He's looking at porn right now. <laughs> see, he's real. I do see the other screen for the porn, though, in the tabs. Put that, put that away. I didn't even know <laughs> farmer porn was a thing, but okay. Um, your favorite muscle group? Ooh, my favorite body part is chest. Is my chest. Your favorite body part and anybody is your own chest? Yes. Are you talking about muscle group to like train? I don't know. I don't know how that works. Um, I have the best mind to muscle connection with my back. That's like my favorite thing to train. Mind to muscle connection, meaning you, it just always works when you do it or, or it always feels good. How does that work? With working out. You said it. I don't know why you're laughing at your own thing. No, it's just a lot of people don't understand there's a mind to muscle connection you have to have when I, you're training a I body part. I did not know that. Yeah. What does that mean? It's hard to explain. It's something you have to feel. So if you were training your bicep, mm-hmm. you have to focus your brain on the muscle movement. Because anybody can just pick something up and you're doing this. You're using your shoulder, you're using other body parts. Oh, so you've got to if you you gotta train just your focus mind on the actual bicep muscle and you will use only your bicep muscle. Who is your uh, dream opponent in wrestling? If I could just pick an opponent out of a hat and put him in the ring across from you, what do, what do your dreams at night tell you? Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Yeah. That would be awesome. It would be awesome. That would be awesome. <laughs> Brock Lesnar's the real deal. He's a he's a beast. Yes. I feel like you think that's you could wrestle him? the ultimate. Did you beat him? Absolutely. I think that's the ultimate testament. I think at the in the in the game of professional wrestling, it's Lesnar and Wardlow. I'm going to text Brock right now and tell him that you're challenging him. Let him know. Give see, him my number. See how that works. Well, I don't have his number. Um it would be awesome if I did though. That would be awesome. That would be cool. Um you know Nickelback's going to be here in a minute. What? The music group Nickelback. They're, Why? They're going to be interviewed. The same reason you're here. They're plugging something. They're interviewing with somebody else. I didn't know they were still around. I could introduce you to them if you want to get a photograph. Oh, God. Uh, my other dream match would just be with whoever the AEW world champion is. So it could be John Moxley could be maxwell jacob freeman do you plan for that dream match to happen in the year 2023 yes how confident are you that that will in fact happen i feel like it's set in stone my next question was is the tnt title which you've held for several months now yeah enough for you no explain um because you said last week in the ring you want every time bring me all the titles i'm Outside of wrestling, I'm very selfless. Yeah. Inside of professional wrestling, I'm extremely selfish. How selfless are you outside of wrestling? Give me twenty dollars right now. If I honestly, if I had cash on me and you needed it, I would. 
No room in those pockets, huh? I do, I do stuff like that all the time for people. Um, but in the business, I'm very selfish. And, yeah, I want every title. I most definitely want the heavyweight title. What are you doing here? I have no idea. <laughs> I was going to... Uh, Drawing penis? I was going to... Huh? What? I don't know how to draw a penis. Do you know how to draw a penis? You do? Are you good at it? Yeah. I mean, you, what, you just... You just... Um, it's just like a shaft and then balls. I mean, that's... But that was like a hat. That was like a cowboy hat. That was like a hat. I think you need to go to a doctor. If that's what you think a penis looks like. Is that not what a penis is supposed to look like? I think I understand why your wife doesn't touch it. I thought it was because I was morbidly obese. What's going to happen for Wardlow in 2023? What's the future for you? AEW World Heavyweight Championship. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully a magazine cover. Which one? Muscle uh -oh. and Fitness. Okay, well, that's definitely happening. Well, that, did you just announce that? You don't just say <laughs> hopefully that happens. No, I'm, I've, that's a goal of mine is to be on the cover of Muscle and Fitness. Okay. Um, and then I would really love to get into like a TV show or a movie. Um, if it could be a DC related, I am a comic book fan. Are you, are you just telling me things that are in the works already? Or are you just, or just putting it out there in the world? I'm just putting it in Trying the to speak it into existence. Speak it into, uh, yeah. Um, so you can be like white Adam. White Adam. <laughs> Technically, I think that would be Shazam. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I like Shazam. I thought that was a pretty good movie. I, I took my kids to it. You didn't like it? Thought it was too no goofy. offense. No, I like the movie. I'm not big on the actor that plays Shazam. D D he doesn't scream comic book character to me. Oh. Yeah, he's not his head. Like, he looks like a, a, oh, just... a, a school teacher. <laughs> like, he looks like a school teacher, or like a substitute teacher. He doesn't scream so, comic book character. That Superhero just... should look like this. That's what you're saying. No, I'm saying superheroes look the way they look. We know what superheroes look like. We've seen a comic book. I look like a super, I look like a comic book character. That guy doesn't look like a comic book character. Okay, fair enough. So we're just going to hate on that guy for no reason. I don't even know what his name is. I don't know what his name is either. He. It was a great movie. He's doing fine, I'm sure. I'm not, I don't think he's worried good, about it. a pretty good life. Yeah, he's doing fine. And he might be able to kick your ass. He most definitely can't kick my ass. You don't know that. Who knows? I know. You know what they can do with these digital effects now? It, make you look like your ass got kicked by anybody. I might edit in that I kicked your ass today. He has the suit that's edited. He has the fake muscles. You ha you wouldn't need the, the fake muscles because you have... There's no CGI here. I swear to God, I'll pay whatever. If we can CGI that to look small. Super small. <laughs> I, I will pay whatever out of my pocket. That'd be amazing. I make a lot of money. I bet you do. Barstool's legit, man. You like Barstool, huh? I am. I am a, a bit of a but fan. But you like I'm Dave Portnoy. Into, you like this. I do like the Prez. I watch the pizza review daily. Yeah. My cheat meal. Back to your one question. When's the last time you had a pizza? Um, uh, A few days ago. Was it good? I had a huge cheat day. I had French toast, I had Five Guys burgers, I had a pizza, I had ice cream. Your cheat day sounds a, a lot like my Tuesday. <laughs> 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 that sounds just, that sounds pretty normal. That's your cheat day. Yes. You're in the city, we should go get some pizza. We should go to John's. I, fuck, I was just going to say, I, it is on my bucket list to go to John's on Bleecker Street. You haven't been? I've never been. It's incredible. You should go. You should really no, go after this. I know. This. I'm going to try to. It's it's only like a 10-minute walk. Yeah, yeah I saw. It's I, like 10 looked, blocks away. I looked it up on my phone, actually. Where are you from? I don't know where you're from. You're from you're from somewhere else. Uh, uh, yeah, not Earth. You're from Earth. Mm, I question it. My mom all the time. I'm like, you found me. But didn't you say woods, that you were right? like a runt until you were 18? Yeah, no. I, I grew up uh, in a little Amish town in Middlefield, Ohio. Oh, okay. Very, very small Amish community. Very Everybody knows everybody's business type of thing. But now you're a successful professional heavyweight wrestler. I bet nobody else in that Amish town has ever done that. No. I bet you forged your own path. I'm from a small town, too. Yeah. 10,000 people. How many of yours? Oh, man, I don't know the exact number. I, okay. Well, what was your graduating class? Huh? How many people in your graduating class? I ranked 182 out of 183. So we only had 90 people. So that's about half. 
Yeah. Yeah. So I'm twice as good as you are. If that makes you feel better. It really does. You know, I just try to do whatever I can. I'm so excited about Full Gear. We're going to be at Full Gear. Can Are you? We, yeah. Probably have good seats. Can you give me a head nod? F oh, yeah. What? Okay. What was that? What that mean? That wasn't a real answer. It was like, okay, all right. No, no, of course. If I see you front row. <laughs> I didn't say I was going to be front row. Not oh. one of the baddies. <laughs> 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 well, t- Jade's about to be here. She could probably get you in the baddie section. <laughs> so this this the, nobody's gonna watch this anyway. So we went to a dynamite last year and we sat in the row behind the baddie section. Well, though I didn't watch a match all night. <laughs> I, I didn't see. I don't know. You probably fought somebody. I have no idea. I can't. I can't tell you what you did that night. Well, probably power bomb somebody. Hearing your home life, I understand why you were distracted. All right. Okay. You told me about it. I didn't tell you about anything. I haven't told you about either of my girlfriends yet. Oh, you got side pieces? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, okay, so this weekend, Saturday, yes. full gear. It's Wardlow versus Powerhouse Hobbs versus Samoa Joe for the TNT title. In the next 30 seconds, tell me what I'm going to see in that match. You are going to see three of the largest, strongest, most athletic men in pro wrestling beat the shit out of each other. Mostly me beating the shit out of them. And you're also going to see me do some cool shit you've never seen me do before. So, when you say earlier, like, the Swanton Bomb stuff, and you say all that, you, you think against these guys it would be maybe advantageous to break stuff out like that? Yeah. Maybe not in their skill set, but in yours. Yeah, so obviously if I'm in the ring with somebody half my size, I just pick them up and throw them on the ground right. and it's over. These guys can kind of match my strength a little bit. Um, so I feel like I'm going to have to pull some tricks out of the playbook. Okay. Refer back to my runt days. Sure. Uh, and pull out some of those old tricks. I'd like to very quickly do a hoss rankings with you in wrestling. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Hoss rankings, just all time. I don't know how we're going to rank this. Uh, Kevin Nash, he was a hoss, right? Oh, he's like probably top five. Top five? Kane? Just out of that top five. Big Show or Paul White. Okay, all right. So I think these are different categories. I okay. think you're li- these are, listing I'm saying monsters. giants. Okay. Yeah, so, so when so it's giants, Hoss, we're talking about Hoss. jacked up r- r- wrestlers. Yeah, I would say Big Show, Kane, Undertaker, Diesel, Nash. Yeah, those are giants. Okay. And you are a Hoss. I'm a Hoss. I would say Lesnar's a Hoss. Lesnar. Is Lesnar the greatest Hoss of all time? Um, until Wardlow laced his boots, yes. Wardlow being yourself. Correct. You, you're not above Brock Lesnar already. It's only a matter of time is what you're telling me? I am. I'll give you and the rest of the people a year or two to realize it, but I am. Um, Lesnar Batista. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Batista was awesome. Batista, I think, had the best physique in all of pro yeah. wrestling. Yeah. Dude looked amazing. Yeah. Batista, who are some other hostess guys? I, we do a wrestling podcast. I need y'all to fucking help. Y'all just gonna sit there? Y'all just gonna sit there and not Bobby do anything? Lashley. Bobby Lashley's a hoss. Well, yeah, yeah, he's impressive. Imagine you wrestling that guy. That'd be awesome. It'd be dope. Big E's a hoss. That's a that's a that's a hoss. Big oh, e. uh, uh, y'all got. I mean, Brian Cage that you've uh, wrestled before, right? Yep. That guy's something. That guy's got a hell of a physique. He's got a better physique than you. I don't know if it's better. Sometimes. Less is more. Okay, I agree. That's exactly, exactly. Which we're back to penis size again. Man, you get it. All right. Well, I think before I get beaten up, it would be advantageous for me to just go ahead and end this and get on out of here. What do you think? Works for me. <laughs> I bet it does. <laughs> All right. So this Saturday night, AEW Full Gear Wardlow against Powerhouse Hobbs against Samoa Joe. For this guy's TNT championship. And I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say it right now. Probably in the three-year history of the belt, the greatest TNT champion yet. There, Thank does you. that feel good? Is that nice? Appreciate that. I knew you had something Is it in true? Is it correct? Time. It is correct. There you go. It's Wardlow. It's AEW Full Gear. Check it out on pay-per-view. Any last words from my people? Just watch Barstool and watch AEW Dynamite every Wednesday. And most definitely watch Full Gear this Saturday. All right, you heard him. That's wrestling.